Alright guys, so this thing's sitting really good, man. I'm not sure I need... It's, you know, it's a second floor, it's not concrete, it's not budget, man. So I'm gonna probably not put the cement under it, but I do need to get it out, man. Chief drain rod here. Guys, this is this is the tool that I made for cranking this down. Put a screwdriver in here. Fuck this stupid little piece of metal. This right here. Terrible. It's terrible, man. One thing that's very important guys is scrape this putty off on the bottom so it doesn't affect this gasket man. Make sure you use that friction ring so the gasket stays in place while you do this. And I always use my fucking Mambo channel channel locks for these. Thank you. 
I really like this uh, shower base. I'm gonna have to find the name of it because this stuff is all laser cut. Uh, this shit is just perfect, man. It lays down. Uh, it's rigid. All right, so now I need to get down in here. And uh, get this thing roughed in. So I'm going to have to use a 45, which I'm going to put my, my camera right down in here. I'm going to use a 45 and then see if I can get the 12. What I like to do is I'll measure it right to there. That would be an inch and a half. And with 10 inches. So I need to add, to get to 12, I need to add two inches. So three and a half inch piece is gonna get me right where I need to be.
fucking hole, yo. Beautiful. The next piece is going to be this P trap. I just need to make sure that it's 15 to the center off of the back wall. I'm going to have to relocate this shower street, this shower, so I can do that. Take that measurement. That's 15 on the money, guys. I just need to make sure that it, it's in all the way. Mm, yeah. Check the 12. Twelve's on the money, too. Tape measure, measure shit the bed on me. Fifteen. Twelve. She gonna work, Jackson. All right, guys. So I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually gonna let that glue set up for a few minutes before I start putting this thing in. All right, guys, here we go now.
is if this thing doesn't come up perfectly straight <sighs> it's very easy let me show you this Alright guys, so what I do when the drain, you can see it's a little crooked. Even though you measured and all this shit, sometimes, uh, you know, it's a bitch. It's not where it needs to be perfect. So what I do is, I take this, I want to cut this kind of right at the flood level rim in case something drips and what I do is I'll take my heat gun Make sure you're down in the bottom. You don't want to change the shape of the pipe. Up where the gasket seals. So I just heat this thing up a little bit. You'll know when it's good. It's 
so as you can see now it's perfectly straight coming up through there I'm just gonna let this thing set up I'll put this on cold open the vent. There is a beveled side on this. See that bevel? It's supposed to line up with the bevel on the top here. What I like to do is put a little bit of grease on that uh, gasket. right down in there then you take your tool I mean your uh, crown nut and see the problem with the wrench that they send you is you got to cut this you got to keep cutting that uh, pipe so that it's you can use that wrench but this wrench that I have that I made goes right in much easier than that stupid wrench they give you.
You want to turn this until you just see this metal ring start to turn and you're pretty much good. Get you on. And what I do is come in here with my inside cutter now, but that's high enough for me to test this pan. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fill it up and then I'll cut that off after a couple of, you know, a couple of days. But I want to get this edge all screwed down. It really is solid, guys. So let me get some screws. These are, uh, these studs are just hard as a fucking rock, man. I gotta go maybe get some different ones. Different screws. screws and then I'm gonna clean up all right guys so we're all set here pans in not moving you can hear it's not crunching I'm 240 pounds uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just snip these Place was framed a little goofy the openings not the right size so do the best you can I hope they got a talented tile man really what they should be doing is running the drywall or the wonder board actually down to the top of this curb <clears throat> and then tile the rest with thin set the drywall or, or wonder board will cover this uh, where it doesn't meet the wall the uh, hole was very very big for this I think they were an inch and a half big on the opening so I'm going to put a new mowing cartridge in this valve body with a new uh, new clip turn the water on and test out all right guys so i got this water back on i got no leaks in the wall uh put a new cartridge in on this valve body because it was one that was on my truck and uh Big old weird ass head. Anyways, I'm gonna turn the water back off hot and cold. So much for that light. Hey, a little bit of super glue, maybe. Alright guys, that's gonna be it, man. It's my birthday. 
I'm done here. Water's off. Uh, I'm heading home, man. I'm going to jump in this pool and then figure out what I'm going to do for my birthday. Have a great day, man. We'll see you Monday. All right, guys. Old guy plumbing. Oh, 59, man. Anyways, we're all done here. Took me three hours to put that valve in. Uh, I need to get paid from that guy today from, uh, like, Zell. And, uh, we're all good, man. The guys that are working there showed up just as I was ready to leave. Uh, we talked about how unsquare the walls were and uh, did my best to get that thing centered so that the drywall or wonderboard will cover the flange uh, and at least then they'll be able to tile down to the to the shower uh, you know base above the flange I mean below the flange anyways it came out good I tested it out I filled it up with water uh, I like to make sure that that pipe that's coming up out of there because it's open I like to make sure that uh, it's cut off below the curb in case something happens where a valve starts dripping. I had that happen to me once on a job where uh, somebody touched the valve and it wasn't capped off because they were just changing the pan and uh, it dripped and the pipe going down into the drain was too high so it spilled over into the house. So you best to be a half inch below the curb in case something starts running into that shower. Uh, at least it's gonna go down off over the waterfall and into the plumbing system. Uh, but we're all set there. Uh, I don't really need to be doing more jobs like that to be honest with you on the second floor up and down that's that's the kind of shit you need a help before i just don't want to do it anymore man my fucking hips hurt my knees hurt uh i hate to bitch all the time but damn it ain't no joke man fucking dig ditches for 35 or fucking 40 years you'll be feeling it man you will feel it you're gonna be walking fucked up when you're old man yep you're gonna be that guy with the fucked up strut. Anyways, uh, I'm heading to my favorite, favorite place, Detweiler's. I'm gonna get me a roast beef sandwich with double meat, extra mayo, and lettuce and lettuce and a couple slices of tomato cut in half because I'm not a real tomato guy you know but I do like a little bit not too much and I'm going to get me a coca-cola in the bottle big old 16 ounce or 12 ounce whatever it is the old ones the tall boys and uh, I'm going to celebrate man being alive just being alive Nine years ago, I was 50 years old, got diagnosed with what I thought was the end of my fucking life. So every birthday, this is the nine, nine more years I've gotten out of this life, uh, by the grace of God, and, uh, technology. Alright guys, have a great day. Look at this dude, he's got a couple. There. Thought he had a bunch of water heaters in that truck. Uh, anyways, all right, guys, see you. <laughs> Take it easy, bro. Right, hey, guys, I'm over here at Detweiler's. I got my lunch, man. 
got my Coca-Cola, I got a little bit of watermelon, double beef, roast beef sandwich, and a gallon of ice, uh, lemonade. So I get to the counter, the cashier, she's a very nice lady, I always go to her. I tell her it's my birthday and I expect the whole store to uh, sing me happy birthday. And they did, the whole store. And then they went woohoo after that. So that was pretty good, man. You know you got you got some juice when that happens. Look at that baby.